Hey Bible fans, this is Bo again. I've got a uh, Tyndale Select uh, NLT Select Reference Edition in black calfskin leather. Now these come in black or brown calfskin, indexed or non-indexed. This one's the non-indexed. They also come in black or brown goatskin, indexed or non-indexed. So there's about eight variations of this uh, this select reference edition um, But this is the black calfskin non-indexed Version start off. It comes in a nice really nice box it Comes in a really nice box a clamshell box and, it, and you get a uh, Get a nice explanation of uh, Of what Tyndale's hoping to you know get out of the the select edition kind of the way they make the Bibles and what, what goes into it, all that. It's really great. And uh, so it comes in that nice box, really nice box. And then you get to the Bible itself, and you can see that the spine is, it, it has no ribs. And really the, the, uh, the stamping of Tyndale Holy Bible and New Living Translation, it's not really a deep stamp. It's almost like it's just the gold's been glued on, almost. Uh, it might, it's just not really a, a deep stamp. With how thick this cover is, you would think that the, the stamp would be pronounced, you know. And, and so that's why I'm thinking it's not a, a stamped in. More, it might more be a, uh, a uh, glued on, the gold's glued on. So the... Not having ribs is a uh, is definitely and not even having the tooling marks uh, like Allen might do or or uh, Cambridge might do is just blank. Which I, I'm still kind of on the fence of whether I, whether I really like it or not. This cover, this calfskin, it's really fine grain calfskin. And it's not quite as soft. And as supple as I would as I would like, and that probably that might have a lot to do. The reason that is is probably because it's a paste down, uh, so it's, it loses a lot of its flexibility like that. There's no stitch around the perimeter. Uh, it's it's uh, but you know there's a lot of people that would swear by these and 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 they last a lifetime uh, like this. So that's just you know. Uh, that is just how it, this Bible comes. I believe that the goat skins, the goat skin editions are considerably more expensive than the calf skin editions. Uh, the calf skin edition, just so you we're clear, this calf skin edition retails for one eighty nine on Tyndale's website. Um, I think they're on sale for this particular black non index edition is on sale for uh, like one twenty right now. Uh, whereas the goat skin edition is right under $300. So the goat skin editions will be a leather line. You know, I'm not sure if they're stitched per, on around the perimeter, but they're going to be much, much more goes into the construction of the goat skin covers. So, but this, this calf skin cover is really nice. It feels really nice. It holds really nice. And, uh, the paste down doesn't scare me. I'm not worried about it. It comes with a lifetime guarantee, so I'm not I'm not worried about it. Now, for someone that that is meticulous about it, then that might bother them. But for me, no. So, anyway, getting into the Bible, the start of the Bible, you have all your uh, births, you know, presentation page, births, deaths, marriages, all the such. So, as your traditional uh, layout would be for a legacy Bible as such and then we get to the title page and and then you have your information on this page these are the different editions if you wanted to pause you can write down the ISBN for the different uh, the different cover variations <clears throat> again you have the the calf skin different variations and then the goat skin different variations this is printed in the Netherlands I want to say 
by young blood um, but I'm not gonna say that right out I'm, I'm thinking maybe but either way it it's they are it's really well done really well done and this is uh, you know a product of Tyndall House Publishers and uh, you know it's just it's really well done I really like it so then you have your your uh, books of the Bible alphabetical note to the readers and then you have an introduction to the NLT and then you have I think you have an explanation of the reference system hold on one second yeah Bible translation team it, it kind of tells you who was on the translation team and no it, there's no explanation of the references it's pretty simple though and then you have the Old Testament so when we go to Genesis 1 you can see this Bible lays flat and that's that's a good thing as most premium Bibles will do but as if you see the layout it's a, it's a nice type really nice type um, the paper is not opaque it is thin thin paper it seems thin like thin paper but it's a single column reference Bible hand size so you're gonna have to give up to give a little bit you know so um, you but you can see this is a beautiful layout it's very much like the Clarion the Cambridge Clarion but you can see that to help with having the thin paper it is line matched and even even the reference suite is line matched it's it's really well done I mean I, I really like the paper quality the print quality it's done well and if you're gonna get a single column reference Bible that's hand sized you're gonna have trouble finding one better than the Clarion or the NL or the Tyndall Select they're just the print quality is incredible the paper is incredible even though it's thin you can see that the, the ghosting is barely unless you look like right here where a sentence ends you can you can see a little ghosting but the line matching really helps out this this uh, edition and uh, and really helps the readability and that's really why a lot of people get the single columns is for the readability it's just a smoother read uh, now the reference suite is on the outside margin I do like you have a little marginal room like you do in the Clarion if you wanted to make notes in in one of these you have a little bit of room to do so and um, and it's just well done I mean I I think most people love the legacy layout they love the Clarion layout and this is kind of what you're gonna get from Tyndale of the such of the like so um, anyway that's and then you can see the poetry section is done just like the Clarion uh, it's it's laid out a little differently a little better for for the uh, the style writing I do want to point out one major major I can change these like right now today but uh, when you're buying a $200 Bible um, or $120 Bible when they're on sale this this ribbons it comes with two ribbons but these ribbons are are just really low grade and that's that's how it came new out of the box uh, so it's just that might be one of the more upsetting po points but like I said I can change ribbons that's no problem and if I keep this one I will change the ribbons um, but what you're really paying for what you're getting when you pay that kind of money is this paper which is excellent the feel of this paper is, is tremendous it feels awesome the printing and uh, just kind of how how it's laid out it's just really really done well Tyndale really did a good job so as we get to uh, you know we get to the back and you'll see that this is a black letter text and uh, 
again it's uh it's just i love this layout love this layout you have nice a uh, nice uh concordance you have a really nice concordance in here and uh it's a really big concordance actually and the i was reading through and the the references are really good references so uh it's it's just really good now using the nlt it's more of a study guide since as most of you probably know the nlt is a paraphrase um it's a or it's a phrase by phrase paraphrase uh, version of the Bible so it's it's not literally the Greek and Hebrew um, but it is a great study tool it's great for reading if you have a passage you want to get a little different perspective on anyway so after the concordance you have these nice maps really nice maps you can see the explanations on the maps and uh, they're on the Bible paper as well which I love it when they leave it on the Bible paper and not the super glossy, uh, you know, card stock. So I like the maps being on the, the Bible paper. And then you have uh, three blank sheets for notes. And then you, uh, you come to the back and you can see where uh, it has a small tab, tabbed in spot where it's tabbed in the block. And then you have your paste down and then your back cover again. So this this Bible is uh, is has a, has a decent gold gilding, but then again, I don't really know who does it better than like local church. They're extremely good. Um, this is mid, you know, kind of. It's still great. Now this gold uh, foil is is great. It just might not be quite as shiny and as glossy as like local church would be and this edition is not um it's not art gilded um if it is art gilded it is definitely like a brown like a super light brown so you can you, it's just, it might not be exactly white but it's not red or blue or any of those pretty colors so <coughs> anyway and that's really uh, that's really it if you have any questions uh, let me know if i didn't include something you know please i want to know about it so i can make these reviews better if you're considering uh purchasing this bible they're on sale right now for a really good price uh i think 125 like i said on tyndale's website and i'll post a link to the to purchase this bible uh from tyndale and uh, if you have any any concerns or, or questions about anything that I left out, uh, ask them. I'll try to see if I can find the answer for you, and uh, and um, we'll go from there. But uh, anyway, that is the Tyndale Select NLT Select Reference Edition in black calfskin. I hope this review was helpful. I want to give a reminder, uh, everyone that's a subscriber that uh, posts... A comment on one of the videos over the next probably in a week and a half will be eligible for the March March 2017 uh, giveaway Bible so please subscribe and like videos and comment on videos so that you'll be eligible for the giveaway Bible um, again thank you for watching the videos and and uh, I hope these are helpful for all prospective buyers of uh, these Bibles or just fans of the Bibles and uh, God bless.